YouTube equipment. This may be the most popular question that I get from you guys and people that follow my videos. They always ask me what equipment do I use to create my YouTube videos? And that's why I did this video. This is a completely behind the scenes look at all the equipment that I use and all the gear that I use to create my YouTube videos for all my channels. But I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible. And everything that I mentioned in this video, all the gear and all the equipment is actually linked up on my website. I have a dedicated page for it, the resources page on Channel Empire. That's channelempire.com slash resources where you can find all the links to all the products that I use and recommend and that I mentioned in this video. So let's get right into this list. Let's begin this list with cameras and of course the smartphone i have an iphone 6 that i use to take some shots every now and then i don't use it as my main camera though but it is used so i have to include it in my list the webcam of choice that i use is the logitech c920 hd webcam it's one of the best webcams that you can get highly recommend that one of my first cameras that i use i still have is the canon powershot l300 hs it's a pocket camera that shoots 1080p hd video after that i moved on to my canon t3i dslr the first dslr i've ever owned probably the best budget dslr that you can get if you're a beginner looking to start off with dslr videos and get your first dslr camera i still use my t3i it's a great camera and i also got two lenses for that camera the kit lens and the nifty 50 millimeter lens as well and this past summer, I got my main camera that I use now on all my videos, and that's the Panasonic GH4 Micro Four Thirds mirrorless camera. This thing's a beast, it shoots 4K video. It's an awesome camera at a great deal. I couldn't pass it up, and it's what I use for all my videos now. It's what I'm recording with right now on this video. And I have two lenses for this camera, the 12 to 35 millimeter, along with the 25 millimeter prime lens. And of course, for these cameras, I have extra batteries and extra SD cards, because you're gonna need them. All right, moving on to my audio gear, my microphones. Uh, I have a Blue Snowball USB mic. That was my first USB mic that I used for voiceovers. Since then, I've also added the Audio-Technica ATR2100 microphone to my collection, and I use that mostly for my voiceovers that I do now for my videos. Both of those mics are fantastic USB mics. Can't recommend those enough. I have a Rode Video Mic Pro shotgun mic that I use to record my audio when I'm filming with my GH4 or my T3i camera. Just mount it right on top of the camera, and it records better quality audio than the onboard mic. I have a Zoom H1 portable handy recorder that I sometimes use as a microphone out in the field or external recordings when I'm out recording somewhere. And I also have this cheap Sony lavalier microphone that I use to record into that Zoom H1 sometimes when I need to record some high quality audio when I'm not close enough to the Rode VideoMic Pro. The lighting kit that I use is the Cowboy Studio 3-point lighting setup that I got on Amazon. Great deal. This is the only lighting kit that I've ever owned. I haven't had the need to upgrade yet. They do a pretty good job for what I need and they provide some good lighting for my videos. The other piece of lighting gear that I use is the 5-in-1 reflector. It's super cheap and it's very convenient to have around if you need to manipulate the light that you have in your environment. And my last piece of lighting equipment is my newer CN160 LED light that you can mount on top of a camera or you can mount it on a tripod or something but it definitely helps if you are in a very low light situation and you need that light directed on that subject so at such a low price it was a great add to my collection so moving on to tripods and monopods the only tripod that i've ever used and owned is the magnus vt4000 tripod with the fluid video head this thing makes me want to say showing it's excellent uh, for the price uh, low budget it works perfectly it's definitely the tripod that I always recommend to people who ask me what tripod they should get when they're first starting out on YouTube. I also have a Benro monopod with the S4 head. A monopod is one of the most underrated pieces of equipment for creating YouTube videos. And Benro makes some high quality monopods at a very low price. So I'm a big fan of Benro monopods. I also have a Joby GV3 Gorilla Pod that I can manipulate the legs and put it, mount it wherever I want it. And it holds my DSLR. So that thing comes in handy a lot. I also have a square jellyfish mount adapter for my smartphone so I can mount my smartphone on any of my tripods and monopods. I have a cheap slider for my camera by Glide Gear. It was like 99 bucks and it's a beginner slider if you want to get those smooth sliding shots. And I have two camera stabilizers by the brand Opteca. The first one is a, a cheap DSLR stabilizer that you mount and hold the camera up against your body when you're doing handheld recording to stabilize it just a little bit. And just last year I got the Opteca SteadyVid SVHD stabilizer that is a little better than that. It actually has weights at the bottom and it works pretty good as a cheap stabilizer. I have a basic green screen that I used to use. I don't really use it anymore. I prefer more natural background. 
I have a Ravelli tripod dolly that has wheels. I can put my tripod on it and it makes my tripod more mobile. I can move it and wheel it around and get some cool panning shots. And when I need to pack up all my accessories, if I'm going out and recording somewhere else on location besides my lovely homestead here, I got this Amazon Basics DSLR camera bag, which was only like 30 bucks. And I definitely couldn't live without that for recording on location. And finally, I wanna introduce you to my video editing setup, all the tools that I use for video editing. I have an adjustable height desk from Ergo Depot, which I can't recommend enough if you're a YouTuber and you're editing videos. If you're sitting down for like three hours scrunched over in a chair, that ain't good. Like uh, this thing is awesome. I love standing at my desk. It makes me feel better. Just it's all around better for your health when you're standing. My computer that I edit my videos on is a late 2012 Mac mini with eight gigabytes of RAM and a Core i7 processor. I have an Asus full HD 1080p LED monitor. I have a pair of Audio-Technica ATH M50 headphones, probably the best headphones I've ever owned in my life. Definitely recommend those when you're editing your video and you wanna get that audio just right. And I have a three terabyte Western Digital external hard drive that I store all of my video footage on and you wanna have backups of all your videos. So that wraps up my entire list of all the equipment that I use to create my YouTube videos. Now, of course, all of that equipment is definitely not necessary for everybody making YouTube videos. I definitely didn't start off with all this equipment. It took me years to get to this point. So just know that you don't have to have all of this stuff to start making YouTube videos if you haven't started already. Just work with what you have. And as you progress, you can upgrade your equipment and get stuff like this and build your video studio up and have all this cool equipment to use for your YouTube videos. And again, all of this equipment is linked up on my website on the resources page, channelempire.com slash resources. And my question to you is, what is your favorite piece of equipment that you own for making YouTube videos? Leave a comment down below. You know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up. Share it with other YouTubers. We all love equipment. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.